Hello, good day, good eight minutes or so, and welcome to part 12 here in the Vinyl Corner. Yes, we've reached the Dirty Dozen, and it's time to dispatch wisdom like hungry, hungry hippos dispatch whoop-ass. In today's installment, we'll leave behind the dreamy acoustic folk of my last review, and plunge straight into the deep blue seas of rock. Yes, rock. When you talk about it, that's the way you have to spell it, and that's the way you have to say it. I don't make the rules around here, but you better keep up. So without further fanfare and explanation, let's delve back a few years, 2006 to be exact, and take a look at an album that was born when two friends wrote a song in a hot basement in midsummer and a so-called supergroup was created. Man, I love stories like that. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Rack on Tours with Broken Boy Soldiers. Enjoy. Girl, you got those hands that heal, help me get in. Rackon Tours were initially started in Detroit, Michigan, and later formed their base in Nashville, Tennessee. As I mentioned previously, their very beginnings came about when White Stripes frontman and band starter extraordinaire Jack White wrote the song Steady As She Goes, which later became the band's first single, with friend and solo artist Brendan Benson. The two were soon joined by bassist Jack Lawrence and drummer Patrick Keeler of the Greenhorns and other assorted projects, and the group was born. The band began their first bit of recording at the end of 2005 when time was permissible at Brendan Benson's in-home studio, and Steady As She Goes was released as the group's first single in March of 2006, along with the song Store Bought Bones, which acted as the B-side. Ultimately, the Rack on Tour's first album, Broken Boy Soldiers, was released on May 16, 2006, and went on to receive accolades in the form of an Album of the Year nod, along with a couple of Grammy nominations in 2007. Due to this success, perhaps, or the general streak of creativity going on, the band soon released follow-up Consolers of the Lonely in 2008, led by the single Salute Your Solution. These days, however, the band itself is currently on hiatus. Jack White has since moved on to work with his latest project in the dead weather, as well as manage his label. Brendan Benson continues a fine solo career that includes another new album in the works. Jack Lawrence joined Jack White in the dead weather and also rejoined the Greenhorns for a new album, along with drummer Patrick Keeler. So, while it seems as though we won't have new Rack on Tours material to talk about for a while, let us get back in the old time machine and revisit their very early beginnings. Here's my review of Broken Boy Soldiers. Find yourself a girl and settle down Live a simple life in a quiet town One of the great things about this record is how it simply doesn't care about itself. That may not sound like the most ringing endorsement in the world, but it really doesn't, and it's not a bad thing. The arrangement is lo-fi, it's a slightly cleaner garage rock sound, and it just sounds like the band was having a lot of fun throughout. I mean, one of my favorite things about the Rock on Tours is how the recordings often aren't perfect. There's a good deal of external sound in the background, and the mistakes are there, but it's the kind of stuff that comes from doing a very live style of recording. In my opinion, it's often a very beneficial touch, and Broken Boy Soldiers makes no exception to this rule. In music, mistakes, and not being too tight as a unit can often produce the best results. Let the tape roll. Now, all things considered, as fun as this album is, it really can't gloss over the fact that a few songs really are quite lyrically weak. I mean, I'm not expecting a glorious ode to the art of magnificent poetry on a rock record. That's just not how it works, and everybody writes differently. But if you take the time to examine works like Intimate Secretary or Broken Boy Soldier, you might get a little let down. All in all, though, songs like Steady As She Goes, which I apparently can't stop mentioning, Blue Veins, where Jack White seems to do his best Robert Plant, and Hands show the band was capable of making great rock music that also possessed great blues touches. Not only that, they also displayed a lot of versatility in more mellow numbers like Together and Yellow Sun, which showcased Brendan Benson's smooth vocal range that I love. And really, the whole album is great vocally due to how proficiently he and Jack White trade off vocal lines throughout the record. In truth, if I'm going to get down to the bare bones of my honesty and music with you, I like their later work, Consolers of the Lonely, a bit more. The band seemed more rehearsed, cohesive as a unit, and brought better songs to the table. If it seems as though it disproves what I said earlier about having a more live studio sound and not being perfect, what I mean by this is 
they seem more comfortable in their own skin, if that helps at all with what I was saying. The standout songs in this 10-track record are the aforementioned Steady As She Goes, there I go with the mentions again, Hands, Together, Yellow Sun, Level, and Blue Veins. Sometimes I feel like the album lacks consistency and does get a bit spotty, but it's the work of a great side project band trying to find itself in its freshman effort, and there really is some strength there. So all in all, I'm going to give the Rack on Tours Broken Boy Soldiers three shirts out of four. Lame way to review, but it seems as though my monkey has gone missing, and that is not sexual innuendo. But back to the record. This album is fun and a great listen. It's not going to blow you away with prolific creativity or a tapestry of sound, but that's not really what it's supposed to do. It's a memorable experience, and this is an album and a band I've gone consistently to in my rotation of rock artists, and for good reason. That was torture. Murder! Now, on to the vinyl. Now, as for the vinyl here, the packaging is pretty nice. Casing is really solid. We have a gatefold here with this odd picture. Thank you, Patrick Keeler, for the hand modeling. And it undoubtedly gets the job done. Not much to report inside. Much like the last review, there are no lyrics, and not much in the way of liner notes. As for the record itself, if there's one thing to love about Jack White coming from the point of view of an on-the-job training vinyl listener or an old veteran, it's the way he handles his label and especially his vinyl. This vinyl is big, you can kind of see me in it, and the cut is absolutely A-grade. Turn it up loud and enjoy. And that is all for the 12th installment of the Vinyl Corner. I hope you enjoyed this rock edition of things, still the right spelling, and I hope you look forward to tuning in next time. Still plenty more to come here from my turntable to yours, if you have one. Otherwise this is pointless. This part right here is pointless. So. Without further ado, sit back, relax, and listen to the vinyl, the digital, or the music in your head. Spin. But mostly the vinyl. Goodbye. And as always, folks, since I'm sure we're in the outtakes portion of the video by now, this is brought to you by our four-legged friends at Purina and Laziness. I love you, you know. You don't accept me for it. I hope you enjoyed seeing a bump on a rock.